All right, what is up, guys? So we are back. It's free agency time. Before we get into things right here, I'm actually going to quickly make a move, and I think I'm going to trade Brock Osweiler. The reason is we've got some cap room, obviously, but I think that it's in our best interest to move Osweiler and save the money that we're paying him right now because we are moving him. Or I'm mean, not removing him. We are paying him a lot of money at the moment, and um, I mean, eight million to hit on the cap. That's huge, and I think we got to move him. We got to see if we can literally even just pick up a pick for him. We'll just look even at the uh, Bears at first, see if there's anything they're willing to offer us, see if they'd be willing to do like a third round pick. I'm going to guess this is instantly denied, but um, let's see. So they want, I really, I don't think we have a use for Osweiler. I think we've got Kessler as the backup if we need him. If, um, excuse me, if uh, Kaiser gets injured, I'm like going nuts today, but yeah, so when we've got a situation like that, I think, actually, let's just look at teams that need quarterbacks. Um, a team that needs a quarterback. So Broncos could use a quarterback. They could use Osweiler. Let's see if they're willing to give up a fourth-round pick for him. Uh, and they're not quite interested. We'll keep looking at teams. But I'll keep just talking about the situation. I think that there's no use in having a guy that's putting this much financial pressure on the team if we're not even going to be using him in a very prominent role. So because of that, let's go to the 49ers here. And um, I can go sixth and seventh pick. I don't even hate that. Yeah, we'll use that. And um, defensive tackle and then some of those guys coming out on the right side of the line. We'll take a quick look at first at free safety. I'd love to sign. I mean, not sign free safety. I'd love to draft a free safety too. I think that would be good. But um, let's see. How much is... Okay, so two million a year. That's not a bad cap hit at all, actually. I think this is a good pickup. He's only 27 years old. And that's a good signing. Um, it seems like he's pretty interested in the deal. We'll keep looking right now, and uh, we don't need um, don't need a strong safety. Let's look at right tackle and right guard. Hopefully, we don't end up giving up too much money. Um, Greco, who we ended up losing to free agency, he didn't have a ton of interest in re-signing with the team. We can look elsewhere, but he does seem like our best option, man. Bringing this guy back in, and uh, ideally having our right guard back because at nine and seven you kind of want to keep the most of your team together um if we're performing at that level and uh oday is going for 27 years old 2.8 million a year we'll offer that as well that is really on the surface what i think our team really needs right now let's take a quick look and see what happens if we advance a week and um hopefully that results in us making some signings here and uh contract accepted all right so we got greco back acknowledged that's good don't get the right tackle we want we also don't get the free safety we wanted which is unfortunate but um we've got some availability in cap room because of the osweiler trade now and you know there's some really good running backs out there which is funny uh okay so let's take a quick look who, who, I wonder if Drew Brees signed anywhere. Teddy Bridgewater, I wonder who you would ask for. I'm not going to sign him, but yeah. A lot of money. Let's stick with Deshaun Kaiser. Um, we got our right guard. We're looking for our right tackle. Let's go out. We still need a free safety. I'm just going to make sure we know the situation. We know who we need. Um, as we go. So we need free safety. We should be good in just about every other position. We still need a defensive tackle. Forgot about that. But, uh... Yeah, so here we go, man. Just a, just a right tackle, defensive tackle, and a free safety, and we should be fine. So let's go in. I'm sure there should be a good defensive tackle out there on the board. Um, right tackles. This is not ideal, but, I mean, that's not an extreme amount of money to be offering him. And let's go to defensive tackle. And we actually have some good options at defensive tackle. Top two bids. This guy's got nothing, nothing on his plate right now. Uh, we can make him an offer. That leaves us finally with just the free safety position to fill up. And D'Angelo Hall, I don't hate it, man. He's getting up there. Give him a one-year deal. Offer him what he wants. Does he even have an offer from a team? Yeah, we can maybe... I don't want to short him too much. Ah, no. Let's just leave it because we are kind of in a position where we really need one. Um, and let's move on, man. Let's see if we can pick up those guys. If we do, I'm very happy with these, this free agency. Um, come on, man. Give me this. Give me this. Need it. 
as the Angel Hall. We get all of the contracts we wanted right there. That is huge. Uh, we could obviously definitely be doing a little bit better at the right tackle. I understand that, man. Um, but we kind of, uh, we bolster that position a little bit for ourselves. Free safety, D'Angelo Hall just adds a ton to this team. Um, and I think we're looking a lot more balanced now. We still have some money to spend if we see a guy out there for 3 million that we really like. Uh, and let's see, man, there could be a guy out here that we decide for the money might be worth it, but probably not. I mean, Matt Prater instead of Cody Parkey, he's not asking for an insane amount of money, would basically be filling ourselves all the way up though on um, on our cap space. But a really good kicker like that could be very, uh, that could be big, man. You think, I mean, it's not even like it's a little upgrade, like, He's a big upgrade over Parky. 96 kick power and 91 accuracy. I'm offering the deal to Matt Prater. Uh, I think bringing in a great kicker is important, man. I think having a guy who can make those points count when it's needed, huge. But let's also go into scouting before we finish this up. And uh, I talked about, let's see, we don't even have a fullback. We looked into fullbacks. And right end could be big. Willie Young is getting up there right now. And free safety could also still improve. We bolster our cornerbacks a little bit, though. So, taking a look at these free safeties, we haven't even given any of them a look yet. Roy Jordan could be a guy to look at. Le'Veon Morgan, another guy that could be talented. We'll give three of them a look, and there's only two of them that I really thought would be worthwhile. Looking at the strong safeties now, and a lot of great strong safeties in the first round, actually. That's something to definitely look at. Early first rounder, I have Sherman Meadows. And uh, let's take a look. I also might want to take a look at defensive tackles here because we've got some good defensive tackles. We also got some older defensive tackles on there and nothing really doing it for me. I don't even know if I want to look at that. One last look. Let's uh, we gotta spend these points a little bit here and we'll take a look at whoever this is at middle linebacker. Can't even finish it up. So guys, that should be it for the video. Not much else I want to do. Next week, we got, uh, I mean, we may as well just sim to the draft here. And then that episode will be the draft and we'll move on. I'm going to be moving quickly, guys. Let me know down below how many games you want me to play in the regular season. I'll definitely play at least one or two. But uh, a lot of it could be a focus on this being a development series. Um, and just focusing on the moves that this team makes. Whatever you guys want to see, though, I would love to bring to you. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace. I'm out.